There's this tie-in between space and water. Water is this super powerful element that I don't think we truly understand. Water is alive. It's, it's alive just like an animal is alive. And it's nurturing and it's healing. Like, like when I go into the ocean in Hawaii, I feel like I'm just being rejuvenated. I love it. It's very peaceful because I'm out in the forest and I'm living amongst the trees. So the trees are protecting me and guarding me. I'm really sensitive to energy, so I had to put myself in a place where I was protected and I felt really calm where I could create. There is definitely a very strong purpose with what I'm doing that most people don't realize that I, I really care about humanity in a very, really deep way where I will cry at night and I will, and I, that's why I have to cut myself off from the from the television, I don't have a television, and I have to cut myself off in a way when I'm creating. I've been an artist since I was very young, a teenager. I started writing poetry and making films and taking photographs, 35 millimeter, and developing everything in the dark room myself. And that was maybe when I was 15, 14, 15. And I was always taking photographs, but I wasn't doing it professionally, and I would say, about 15 years ago, I really started to focus on the water. And then there were about five years where I just shot at night and I practiced and I experimented and I never shared a single photo with anybody. It was really private because it felt really personal. And I was very nervous to share my emotions with the world and my kind of like my soul. I, I didn't want to be judged or criticized, so I kept it. And then finally, I got to a point where I said, okay, I'm ready. When I'm imagining the images and creating the concept for the shoot, I usually keep notebooks throughout the year. So the concept is not coming in one day, it's building. And the building can take a year long to build. And I swear, most of the time, it's really uncomfortable because I, it's not there yet. It's coming, it's coming, but I don't know, is it right? It's, and, and usually there's a moment where it clicks and I say, that's it. I would say that the process is very raw and starts out with inspiration, walking around, taking notes thinking about ideas, thinking about the world. So most of the time I'm looking at the world and seeing, wow, these are problems, or these are things, or wow, look at what this person's going through. This became my medium when I was living in Hawaii and growing up in the ocean and the water and waterfalls and rain. I, I think I'm a little obsessed with water. I never realized that I was, but I need water. And when I was living in Los Angeles, I was taking baths all the time. I didn't realize why, but I needed to just get connected with the water. So it started one day where I was shooting a friend of mine. I, I had this really dark thought. It was really dark and dreamy. And, and then she sort of brought this hope to it. And it was really fascinating because what I thought I was going to get I got, I didn't get, I got something completely different down there and I was, I was fascinated for the first time and I became obsessed. I get most of my props myself throughout the year, so I'm, I'm gathering, I'm just, I'm looking at things, like I found this mermaid costume, which I usually don't use costumes, but I, I found this and I, so I have that in my closet and I just, I've been building up my props over time, but I go to thrift shops. I have, um, I've gathered sheets from my mom's closet. I, anything, everything I can get. I love putting myself in a difficult situation because through the challenges, that's when I get the good shots. And so I can't explain it in words, but I feel it and I know it. So I know that using the water with my images, we're creating something that is not, almost not human, not of this world. And that's what's really interesting to me, is I get to go there all the time. I get to be in that place, and when I wake up in the morning, 
I just, I just want to be there. I want to turn off the news, no news, no bad news, and I want to just be here. So that's how I survive. This is my survival.